Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be reviewing Kushi Kamana by Belle Tress in the color Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. Before starting with the review, I would like to invite you all to visit Wig Studio One. That's where I purchase all of my wigs. The links are always listed down in the description box. If you need any help, you could always contact support at wigstudioone.com and the very knowledgeable team there will be more than happy to help you. It is free of charge. You could do a Zoom call. You could, have, you could do it via email. It, it is very easy to use and the co consultants on there are trained and knowledgeable across brands and styles and colors so they could match you up you could show them pictures and they're a fantastic team wow. i even reach out to them sometimes when i have a question many of the members on the wig studio one uh, wig and topper support group a private facebook page have asked me where these names for that where does Beltrass come up with some of these names? And they're mostly have to do with coffee. I think all of the, all there's a coffee collection. So all of the names have something to do with coffee, such as Kona or Americana, Cold Brew Chic. They're all having to do with coffee. And Kushikamana is no different. Kushikamana means connect in Swahili and the reason that they chose this name is because it's named after a group of farmers that came together to develop a better coffee bean. They are based out of Kenya and what these farmers did they bought their roasters on the farms in order to taste the coffee beans as they were working and this is something that a lot of the farmers don't have the ability to do and taste kind of as they go. So these farmers connected and they came up with the name of Kushi Kamana because they connected and they, the name of their coffee brand, if I'm not mistaken, is Counterculture and that is another style in the Beltrass line. All right, that is the lesson on Kushi Kamana. I absolutely love the style. I am a huge fan of Beltrass. It is probably my favorite brand because of their style uh, and because of their fibers. Their fibers are so realistic. They feel amazing. Yes, they are HD. Yes, we do have to take a little bit of extra care, which I will go over in just a moment. But nevertheless, you know, I have a Beltress, I have Columbia. It was the third or the fourth piece that I purchased when I started wearing wigs. And I still have Columbia. It is a, a heat friendly fibers, but I take care of it and I can still wear it. It still is really nice. And I, I don't have any problems with Beltress pieces. I absolutely love them. They're starting to expand more on their colors. Um, my Kushi Kamana is in brown sugar sweet cream. It is one of my favorite colors all around from any of the brands. I think that the one that would be second to this would be probably Shaded Cappuccino from Raquel Welch. I absolutely love it because we, as a brunette, I and, and with dark brows, I need to stay with colors that if it has blonde, it has to have a brunette in it. With brown sugar sweet cream, we have a medium brown root and we have a mix of dark and medium and light brown. And then we have a little bit of that ashy blonde mixed in. But as a brunette, since I have worked my way up to a lighter colors, I think that brown sugar sweet cream just makes it perfect for me. Brown sugar sweet cream does not look the same um, on everyone. Taz and I have been talking about this. Taz has a very fair complexion. So brown sugar sweet cream looks, it, it gives the appearance of a darker color on her while on me it looks a little bit lighter due to my medium tan skin tone. Something to keep in mind when you're looking, when you're watching some of our videos, what are our skin tones? And that way you can gauge. If you're very fair, 
brown sugar sweet cream is not going to look on you as it does on me. It's better to take a look at Taz and see how this color looks on her because due to her fair complexion. Just wanted to make a mention of that. I absolutely love it. Kushi Kamana is very similar to Peppermint from Beltress. We have a very straight style. The difference between Peppermint and Kushi Kamana is that Kushi Kamana comes in two lengths in 18 inches and 23 inches. Mine is in 18 inches. We have a bang of eight and a half inches. My face from hairline to chin is almost eight inches. I have seven and three quarters. We have sides that vary between eight and a half and 14 inches. And that is due to the layering on here. The nape is 10 and a half inches and the back is 18. On peppermint, our bangs are almost the same. With Kushi Kamana, we have eight and a half inches. With peppermint, we have eight inches. With peppermint, we have the sides of 11 inches. But then on this one, we go between eight and a half and 14 inches, and that's due to the layering. The nape on the back on Kushi Kamana is 18 inches, and the back on peppermint is 15 and a half. Also, with peppermint, you get two styles as far as caps are concerned. You can get a left monofilament part as you do with Kushi Kamana, or you could have a hand tied cap. With Kushi Kamana, we have a beautiful lace front. And now that Beltress is starting to add these lighter fibers, I think it just looks so natural and so pretty. And we have that left monofilament top. If you are familiar with Beltress, they run on the larger side of average. I have a 21.75 circumference and this one fits me absolutely perfect. I haven't done anything to it. It just fit perfect right out of the box. I did the unboxing for it over on the Facebook page, and I have to tell you, I love it and have gotten so many compliments, even from my husband, who rarely says anything about my wigs. But when he saw me in this one, he said, wow, that is really pretty. And he kept coming into my beauty room and saying, yeah, I really like that one. I really like that one. And that is very unusual. Show you the here's the ear tab right there, and here is my hairline. Great coverage, especially if you do not have the low hairline as I do. The ear tab comes right in front of my ears. Also, another nice thing about Kushi Kamana is that it has the fibers coming right from the ear tabs. So we, so it gives you a very natural look if you just want to leave some of the fibers out and then tuck underneath. I haven't added any products to this piece. I took it out of the box. I uh, out of the box. I shook it and I uh, put her on. This is just the way it, it looks uh, right out of the box. I had a piece that was kind of being obnoxious, this piece right here. And it's just because it, it just wanted to go to the other side. So I just moved it over, but I haven't added any product to it. Not all the pieces are going to be exactly the same. If you get one and you feel that the hair is falling in, in your face, you could either use product, you could use a holding spray, or you could use some steam, or you could use a flat iron. But this one, all I did was use my hand, and it it was perfect. Nothing else to it. We have a great length, so we have lots of styling options. We could add a headband. Could add a low ponytail if you have. If you don't have the low hairline as I do, you can certainly put, make that ponytail a little bit higher. Could add a clip. One of the questions that I'm frequently asked is how I take care of my HD fibers. 
and why they last so long and really it's minimal what I do. I always carry my wide tooth comb. This is my favorite kind, but there are, you could use any kind you want. And just I just carry it in my purse. And every so often I'll just either use the ladies room or in the car or something and I'll just run the comb through it. And that will make sure that my piece is not getting tangled. When I, at the end of the day, once I'm home and I'm taking my wigs off, I use the John Renault HD Detangler. And what I do is right at the nape, I'll just spray a little bit and then I run the comb through it and make sure there are no tangles anywhere. So, and the reason I use this is because it prevents any snags. You don't want to pull on it. You want to start at the end and just work your way up. Every three or four wears, I'll take some Simply Stylin and I'll just spray a little bit on my hand. Just a sprint. Actually, I did two sprays. I usually do one. And I just run my fingers through it and then just run it a little bit through the end. I have a 25% discount code and I'll list it down in the description box. And this will last a very long time because as you saw, it's one spritz, you don't need two. And just on the ends, I don't spray it all over my wigs because otherwise it'll just give it a very clumpy look. It is a silicone. So you want to, to less is more really in this uh, case. If your wigs are starting to look a little bit crunchy or a little bit dr on the dry side, then the, a good thing to use the Simply Stylin for is to really cover your wigs with it. Let it sit there for about 15 or 20 minutes. Just basically all you apply this all over and then wash it very, really well in order to get it all out. Wash it with your uh, wig shampoo. Rinse it. Add some conditioner if you'd like and when it's dried this is real you're going to see a huge difference using this and that's really all I do with my wigs I don't I don't do that much I used yes I used the, the Aesthetica revitalize and shine and I just spritz a little bit throughout my wigs and I do that with my HDs and I do it with my non HDs as well Right now I'm wearing Peppermint by Beltress in the color Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. Something that I didn't mention about Kushikamana is that we really do not have any permatease here. Beltress, the majority of, these, of the styles that I have tried from Beltress have minimal to no permatease at all. And it's a very light density, very realistic density. You're not going to get a lot of poof with these. You're not going to get any big hair. If you like it a little flatter, if you just like it, I don't know. Just to me, to me, it's just as if it's just my hair. And I absolutely love it. Love it. All right, let's take a look at the cap. We have a side monofilament top lace front, the extended ear tabs with the fibers coming down. We have an extended nape and we have bra strap adjusters. Very nice stretch to, to the cap. And on this color, I think the root is done. The rooting is done so well. Thank you, everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for visiting with me and I'll see you next time.